co-signed a loan, you probably wonder, how do I remove myself from that debt? Our financial expert explains how to break free from it. It's tomorrow at 7 on Good Day Orlando. Welcome back to Good Day Orlando. In your consumer quarter, Amazon now joining the student loan business. The online retailer has partnered with Wells Fargo to offer lower interest rates to subscribers of its Prime Student Service. The discount will be offered to students who want loans to attend college and those who want to refin refinance existing loans. Well, high credit score is your ticket to discounts in borrowing and insurance. It can also be a key to landing a job or even a rental home. That's why knowing your credit score is is more important than ever. Certified financial planner Joe Burt joining us this morning to talk about how you can check your FICO credit score for free. Good morning, Joe. Good morning, Andrea. So first off, um, the difference between a credit report and a credit score, because oftentimes I think we get those mixed up. Right. Your credit score is really derived from your credit report, and your credit report keeps track of who you're paying and how often you're paying. It comes from Equifax, uh, TransUnion, and uh, the last one I can't remember, but there's three of them. Uh, easy to get the credit report, but not so easy to get well, the credit thanks, score, right? Thanks, thanks to the uh, Fair Credit Protection Bureau, they now have access. You can now get access to that credit score that you've always wanted to figure out what where you stand credit-wise. It used to be you had to really pay for it. You could pay $19.95 for it, but now it's a little bit more accessible to, thanks to the uh, uh, CFPB. Okay, and FICO, what does FICO stand for? Fair Isaac Corporation, and it's actually 60 years old. Started in 1956 really? by two guys, yes, by the name of uh, William uh, William Fair and Earl Isaac, and they were they were in Stanford, and they came up with this algorithm that says, you know, if we get enough information, we can pretty well determine how people are are, are credit wise, and they they've created it and they sold it, and of course made a lot of money. Okay, you mentioned certain ways to get the credit right. score for free. What are some other ways you might be able to get your credit score? Well, through your credit card. Okay. Uh, some credit cards now. You go on, if you have an American Express card, you can go online and you can pull up your score that way. Uh, credit unions, some credit unions offer it. If you have a student loan through Sally May, you may be able to get it through that. So there, there are ways, if you're, if you're buying a car or going for a loan, you can ask the lender for your credit score at that time. Uh, okay, yeah. so what constitutes a good credit score? What range are we looking Somewhere at? Somewhere between 300 and 850. 380, that's quite a range it though. Is, it is quite a range, <laughs> and you want to stay above 700. Okay. 850 is obviously the very best that you can get. That's stellar, very, very few people get that. But you want to stay in that 700, 750 range. If you can get to 800, it's even better. Okay, and why is it so important to keep an eye on your credit score? Well, as, we, as you said in the opening, it affects a lot of things that you do today. Every, from getting your job, some employers today are checking your credit score. They don't want people that are deadbeats. From renting an apartment, from uh, getting a loan, obviously, from getting a mortgage. Um, your insurance uh, is affected. Your, really? Your, right. Your homeowner's insurance, your automobile insurance, because they recognize that people with bad credit scores generally having financial troubles. Financial troubles leads into other, other kinds of troubles. So, uh, yeah, your credit score is very, very important. I know a lot of people ask this question. Can paying your utility bill late affect your credit score? If it's reported. Now, you, if, you're, if you're a habitual late payer, it's going to catch up with you. But if you're, you know, if you're a week late sometime, it happens, we understand. But if you're a habitually late payer, it's going to catch up with you. And that's the most important thing is your credit paying history. Okay. Be on time. Any other advice when it comes Stay to... Stay out of debt. Stay out of debt. <laughs> you can't... Easier that, said that, than done, that's Joe. Come easy, on. That's the, easy, <laughs> that's the easiest way. But if you have debt, consistently pay it off or pay it off on time. time. That's, okay. that's the number one thing. Great advice, Joe. Yeah. Where can people find you? Just Google me once again. Joe Burke, two words, B-E-R-T. Joe, thank you. Thank you. All right. All the